man is also aiming high. Kite surfing, it's uh, when you're being uh, pulled along by a rather large kite and uh, you have a board which is strapped to your feet and uh, it's uh, very exhilarating and thrilling. This daredevil chef will make the winning couple's wedding cake and whatever they say goes. I've had some people order carrot cakes, lemon cheesecake, you know, whatever they want, basically, I'll try and make it and create it. Steve Hewitt's got a few cracking ideas for that fairy tale cake. You always try and make it a little bit different, a little bit unusual, like, like do one garnish on uh, one of the cakes and it's got like crackle crystals in the chocolate. As it's drying, I'll sprinkle crackle crystals and uh, pistachio nuts. So as they're eating it, they're getting the lovely flavor of the chocolate and then afterwards they're getting like the pop, popping sensation of the candy, so it's quite interactive. When he's not cooking in a busy restaurant by day... If we could have like a 36 hour in a, in a day, that'd be great for me. He fills his nights making dream creations. Quite often, do some cake work from like 11 o'clock till about 2 or 3 in the morning, you know what I mean? And as long as I get like 4 or 5 hours sleep, I'm fine. He's offering his services to the wedding winners as part of Diane's team. Any money raised will go to her chosen charity. Steve had first-hand experience of their work when a fellow kite surfer got into trouble. It was, it was a pretty bad, gusty day. He'd kind of uh, lost control on the beach and then he got uh, just kind of lifted like 20, 20 foot or so a few times and dragged down the beach and he was knocked out quite quickly. Straight away we were on the phone to the, the Coast Guard, the ambulance, everything, and you know, they sent a helicopter pretty quickly. We sheltered him and uh, we just, we just kind of looked after him while we were waiting for the helicopter to come. Champagne reception launch the competition lives. Whatever they want, basically, I'll try and make it and create it. And all expenses pay to the cake. And the man who will create that wedding cake is Steve Hewitt. He's a man who likes to keep late hours. Yeah, within a couple of hours, this kitchen's gonna be a mess. <laughs> This self-taught chef moved from Plymouth to North Wales to indulge his kite-serving hobby. Forever stuck on the beach on a mountain, we hope we'll get rescued. You know, so. Whilst the rest of the world sleeps, tonight he's getting in some practice for the big event. On this one, they've got individual chocolate cups filled with uh, like wild woodland berries, uh, ganache, chocolate mud cake and sponge, and all decorated on the top. And this is going to be sitting on the top. Um, it's got two other roses, which is going to be on the top of it. And I'm my partner. She actually can't stand chocolate now. The house just smells of it sometimes when I'm doing the cakes. Time's ticking by. I'd rather stay up late, and get it all done the night before, than leave it till the morning. That is close. Everyone eats with their eyes. So this is like edible art. Just trying to get it spot on. People don't see. The actual time, the effort, all the small details. Nearly there on the home straight now. That's it.